Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cretan Chaos. Now guys, in the last episode we were thinking about, well first of all we are at war with Megalopolis, but we were thinking about trying to declare war on Thrace. Or at least I was thinking about that. Um, <laughs> now we've got to try and figure out what we're going to do with these major powers here. I also thought about taking a bite out of Macedon because they don't have much money. They're gaining a lot. Okay, ta hold on. Tactics and Commerce. They're gaining a lot more than I am. Why? What determines Commerce income? I'm really curious. Uh, Commerce. Citizens. Citizen plus 0.13? That's kind of weird. Number of trade routes, number of foreign exports, encourage trade. Okay, we got all those percentage modifiers. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. And that's per city, right? Oh, yeah, that's definitely per city. Citizens. Okay, so citizens... Yeah, okay, I get it. Citizens contribute to commerce, and they give you more income in that area, whereas slaves just give you taxes. Right? base tax, yeah. Uh, what I could do is I could take a few of these Hellenic Cretan slaves and promote them. But the problem is that it takes oratory power. We don't have enough oratory power. We need to just continue this. Uh, we need a governor. We need a governor. Wow. Uh, corrupt people. Look at that. Local fort defense. Okay, that, that could be good, actually. Commerce income is pretty good. Monthly character prominence. Hold on, we were defeated. Prisoners abroad. We still have our prisoner right there. Can we ransom him? Dude, I'm not paying you 300 denarii for this prisoner. I'll find a different commander. Oh, we're bringing our other 10 cohorts. Okay, that's right. Oh, that's right. I remember. Guys, I, I've taken a few hours as a break from this. Um, so so I wasn't wasn't totally sure what was going on. Okay, I was not 100%. But now, now I think I'm pretty sure exactly what's going on. Look at that. Yeah. I was watching some of the dev clash. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose that. I don't know why he wasn't moving there, but we're going to lose that battle. There's no way. Very likely, our side will lose. Like, we have a lot of heavy infantry stuff, but they, they more than twice outnumber us. They stack wiped us. I might want to... Yeah, I might want to ransom him later, but... Wow. Okay. Um... We need a commander, first of all. And our best commander is this guy. White piece imminent. Yeah, I don't like that. What's his goal? Laconia. Well, he's he is taking Laconia, so I don't understand how they can see it's an it's gonna enforce a white piece. It's not. It's not. Okay, he's corrupt. I don't want that guy. I guess him. I mean, he's gonna have to come back. He's sixty one years old. He's blind, right? But but he's gonna have to come back. We need another army. Two six two. We can't import horses, can we? Like, if I get iron, we're getting a surplus. That's heavy infantry discipline. What? Hold on, what do we have a surplus of? Wood? We can trade away our locally produced surplus of wood to another province. However, by doing that, Okay, that would take away Trirune Discipline. Oh! That's interesting, but... That's really weird. I, I'm not sure I totally understand that. How about fish? I can't do that because none of the other provinces can, can do trade routes. That's really weird. I'm not really sure how that works. But... So, but I have a surplus of grain, okay? I do have a surplus of grain. And I'm importing two grain. That's why I have a surplus. 
fish and wood. I'm not. I don't need to import any of either of those spices. Spicy. Let's change this one, but only if you could get access to horses, and I can't. Like I cannot get horses from them. Would would there be a way for me to get horses in a different way? Where can I get horses? Uh, there's honey, vegetables, gosh, where's horse, gosh, I don't know, I mean, I could just, I can zoom in here, but I don't see horses anywhere, horses are not easy to come by, are they? Yeah, horses must not be easy to come by. Maybe they have some here? Livestock, there's no horses. Oh, they're horses. Okay, now if I click on it, I can see. There are horses there. I would have to take the province of Macedonia, which is their capital here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Political map mode. I like the political map mode. I think I prefer that. I mean, I did, when I was, when I first started learning about the game, I thought I would always play on terrain, but, but actually I think I like the political map mode. Just because it's, it's just easier to read for me, so. Okay, anyway, 262 is what we need, and we need another commander also, but that's gonna kind of be a problem, so. Look at that. I don't care. Alright, I need two of these. Camel wall. We can't make chariots. We can't make... I think that's heavy cavalry, and we can't do it because we don't have horses. Uh, iron. We can do heavy infantry. We need six. We can't do horse archers. We can't do light cavalry. We can't do... Oh, we can do light infantry. We can't do war elephants. So really, that's all we can get is like... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we need two archers. Oh, wait, no, no. We need uh, two light infantry here. And that cost a lot of our manpower, but it's kind of our only option here. I kind of like this game's mechanic of enforcing white peace. I do kind of like that. And also, Histria is... They're having a problem with loyalty. Why? Because of unrest. Why do they have unrest? Unhappy Pops. 2.59. Why are they so unhappy? Why are they so unhappy? I don't know. The priest will be left alone. Yeah, that. Somebody died. Yeah, somebody died. Are we... We're, we're not paused. Why... What happened with my army? Why did they, like... That's really weird. Okay, um, let's, let's all go here. What, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? And why, why is the martial, like... Okay, why is the martial quality degrading? Not eligible... Com oh, hold on. Why can't- why is he not eligible for command? Oh, he's a foreign citizen! Hold on, Le Leo- Leonite- Leonided. Can I search? Oh, there needs to be a search. There really needs to be a search. Leonided. I can't- I can't even see. Imprisoned? No. Gender. Okay. Alright, how about unemployed? Name. How about Marshall? Let's search by Marshall. Men. Ruler family. 
Oh no, I don't need ruler family. Leonidas, yes. Let's let's give him citizenship. And also, somebody claimed my province. I have to wait twelve months. Well, okay, then Leonidas will be uh, the commander of this one. What? Hold, what? Oh, this guy. Good. He's aggressive. Yes. But it only affects camelry and light cavalry, so that sucks. Okay. All right. All right. Um, okay, they're sieging Sparta. My siege engineers have got this on lock, dude. On lock. Siege of Sparta's won. Look at that. Now, all I have to do is just wait, because those, those cities will fall under my control. All right, but I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to take these guys here. I should make another thing, but... Alright, am I going to be making more money now that... Why is my income so freaking low? What what am I losing from? Navy maintenance costs? Because Marshall advances? Okay. I, I just don't understand. It also appears as though there's not really too much slowdown. I didn't really pay attention to 5 speed, but if we go to 5 speed, it goes kind of fast. I mean, it's been, I think, over 100 years. I could be wrong. I, I can't remember exactly what date it starts at, but... Okay, these guys... These guys need to go and siege this. These guys need to take this back. And these are in hills. I think these guys will will be able to do this. Uh, oh, we got martial advantages. Sweet! Technology. Alright, we got active drill. That's experience decay. We got navy attrition or discipline. Yes, we need discipline. We need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. We also... If we reach level 12, then we can actually get this discipline plus 5%. Then we don't need this plus 10% manpower. Even though that is a good thing. We need tons of discipline. We need a lot of discipline. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I uh, lost the siege of Thebes. Well, that's kind of a problem because that flips over control of three of those cities. One pop. Oh, I thought I said one pope died. One pope died. No, the pope doesn't exist yet. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rome's scary. Twenty-four hundred pops. Carthage, twenty-four hundred pops. Macedon, eleven hundred pops. Us, nine hundred and seventy-eight pops. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> The good news is, though, we are the governor. We are the governor. Um, we are the governor. And, uh... We're trying to do cultural assimilation. I wonder if a different thing would benefit us at this point. What about the culture? Let's take, check out the culture. Oh, come on. Show me Cretan. Like, I don't want to look at my troops right now, but I can't view Cretan any other way. All right, let's not go for cultural assimilation. Let's go with, um... We could do acquisition of wealth. We could do... Oh, we could do a lot of manpower here and fort defense. Let's do that. What other provinces do I actually control? Let's see Crete. Yeah, right now I have governor, uh... Uh, yeah. Please trade with me. We're still losing money, but... Uh, for this one... I won the Siege of Megalopolis! Yes! Gnosis 1 to Sparta, Sparta 2 to Gnosis. So we took a bunch of pops back. Do we have 32 slaves in Gnosis? Like, we, we don't need any more slaves, okay? Like, can we move some people? The problem is just that it costs freaking frick. I could spend some religious power converting, like, yeah, I can, I can convert these guys. Alright, good. I can at least do that. Assimilating them costs more, but... 
Hold on, let's check the culture really quick. Okay, so the primary culture in this province is... Sorry, in this... City... In this city... Is Cretan. Okay. And even... Yeah, it's... It's, uh, Cretan. But there are a lot of non-Cretan. There's Peloponnesians, Aegean, Siciliote, Brutian. I can't sort. I can't sort that list. All right, now he is not in the same culture group, so I could assimilate him for 20 oratory power. I'm not going to do that crap. I'm just not going to. Do I have any Roman slaves? No. No. No, I don't have any Roman slaves. I can't make any trade routes. That sucks. Okay, now how can I make it back over here? Can I just walk through Phrygia? No, I cannot. It requires a naval landing. Crap. All right. What's going on with the music? There we go. The music started right when I asked about it. Now, my ruler is 38 years old. That honestly sucks, because I want him to die. Asclepian wise man. Okay, so he's got some kind of health modifier. But what if I don't want him to... Like, I don't... Ugh... I don't want him to survive. Oh, we had a son. We had a son. Oh, no, we had a daughter. Uh, well, I guess this daughter's about to die uh, in prison. <laughs> oh, crap. We're fighting. And we won. Oh, yes. All right. Hey, now. We won that fight. We're fighting, and we're about to take some stuff. All right. We're about to take a bunch of stuff. And I don't know why I am losing money still. Why was I, like, gaining so much before, and now I'm just losing so much? What changed? Is it the fort maintenance? Ah, it's the fort maintenance. It's because I built all those freaking forts. I could reduce that by 25% and make some money, but... But then it would reduce my fort defense by 50%. And I don't like that. Yeah, see, I have, like, all these forts here. And I probably don't really need all these forts here. Look, I've got a level 1 fort, level 2 fort. Let's destroy... Uh... Let's destroy the fort here? No. Let's have a fort... Let's have a level 2 fort here. But then let's destroy the fort here, and let's destroy the fort here. And I won this siege... I've got 99% war score. Sue for peace. Give that to me. And give me all of your money. I lose a little bit of popularity, but I need... I need more people. Like, I need more people in my country of, like of good stature and stuff like okay this is Akaya and I already have a couple of, of cities in Akaya so let's see we've got acquisition of wealth and that's probably fine local tax and commerce income culture is fine uh, the manpower could be good yeah I'm gaining 500 a month now social mobility could, that could be. you know what we need to do for this we need social mobility here Let's do social mobility. We're not importing hemp, and that's fine. That's all right. All right. All right. All right. I want to look at trade. Look at this trade. Okay, imports, exports. I'm exporting a few things. Allow trading away surplus. We are not allowing any trade offers that would make us lose our capital bonus. Yeah, no, we'll allow it. 
Capital import routes, natural commerce income, province import routes. The number of bonus trade routes for, that all of your provinces receive. Each additional route allows you to import one extra trade good per province. And it's not talking about regions. Because regions is right here. That's in that's Greece. Right? We've got the Greece region. But we also have a governor. We got a governor. We got one, two, three, four different governors. One for Magna Graecia, one for Illyria, one for Thrace, and one for Asia. Somebody died. Cool. Lack of a governor. Stop. I gotta stop doing this. Dude, he's so corrupt. Don't let him rule. Jeez. All right. <laughs> okay, we need a lot more oratory power. We need, we need a lot more oral. Uh, no, stop. We need a lot more oral. Uh, sorry, oratory power. Gosh, stop. And uh, we're still losing money. We need to we need to get a handle on that. Uh, perhaps the next. We are making a lot of manpower. Perhaps, perhaps we should. With for our next uh, religious omen, which ends in uh, a little less than two years, perhaps we should go with the tax man uh, tax. Uh, modifier? That could be good. We're at perfect stability. No war exhaustion. Can I declare war on this guy? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, no. Can I declare war on Macedon? And they're allied with the Seleucids. Wonderful! They've, no, no, they've guaranteed Macedon. What is this? Come on, man. Oh, also, Iolia took Thrace. And we're... Iolia, yeah, we're, we're allied with them, so... And these guys are subjects to Phrygia, and I don't like that. But... Oh! The Seleucids... The Seleucids are not doing too well right now. Like, 22 cohorts? And their revolt has fewer pops, but more cohorts. Oh, sweet. An ally's gift. Well, I'm okay with that. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Aristocratic monarchy and an autocratic monarchy. This guy is Hellenic Macedonian, and this guy is also Hellenic Macedonian. There's just a civil war, probably some low legitimacy or lots of support for a pretender or something like that. Well, we might be able to declare war, but first we need the claim. So we need to wait until we can fabricate a claim with our oratory power, with our oral power. Stop! <laughs> Alright. I think I might have too many fortresses. I might. I got a level 1 fortress there, level 1 fortress there. I mean, where else are my fortresses? There's one in Rhodes. There's one here in Byzantium. I don't think that's so much. Okay, the next... Oh, we, oh dude, the next one gives us province import routes. Okay, we gotta do that one. We really have to do that. We can actually start trading within our empire, which is so cool. Okay, we could do this. We're gonna take a bite out of Macedon. Macedon, Macedon. I could take these two provinces. We need Chalkadiki, Chalkadiki, and Macedonia. If I take Macedonia, I will get the horses in Tauriana. I wish I could tell when the where the capital is. Like, how do you tell where the capital is? I know that I'm pretty sure Pella is their capital. But is there some kind of visual indicator of that? And if so, what 
is the significance of it being a capital, right? Like... Oh, we got a gift. Look at these. Countries are giving us money. Where's Crete? Yeah, this. Uh, number of citizens. Yeah, Crete has the most. Oh, that's pretty cool how you can change the policy just like that. That's Borderlands. That's, uh, Calabria. Okay, but we don't want to change something that first, like, if it's not our... If it's not our thing. Actually, you know what? Social mobility is actually alright. Uh, we don't we don't actually need that. We could choose something else. Civilization effort? No. Encourage trade. We might actually win. Or we might actually start getting money if we do that. Bleed them dry. I don't want to, I don't want to bleed them dry. Acquisition of wealth. More commerce income, more tax. This is just the commerce income, but we also get an import route for trade. I'm gonna do that. Okay, and when... Hold on, next year, September, we get the next civic advance? Ooh, wait! I'm excited! This guy. Dude, 13 religious power? Holy crap. Let's take a look at our religion. Yeah, we're getting a lot of extra national manpower because of that. But we also... Oh, yeah, okay, now we're making a little bit more money. But I might want to change, like, our forts. But I, I don't know. I don't really want to mothball a whole bunch of our forts and then go to war with Macadon or Mac Macedonia. Yeah, Macadon. Macadon. Why do I keep losing oratory power? Did it... Hold on. Did it cost... Oh, this cost me 50 or to... I'm done. Okay. Uh, livestock. More population growth. That's fine. What are we all... What do we already have? We have fish, and we also have a surplus. Yeah. But we don't have livestock. What about dates? Yeah, I don't I don't have enough game for dates. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop that crap. Stone, fort defense, no. Base metals. Cloth, local tax, not bad. Silk, because more commerce income is pretty good. Provincial loyalty. Ooh. That could be good. But we're actually going to go for livestock. This is more population growth. Oh, man. You know what? I'm kind of unsure. Should I should I call down the omen for from Hades for the money? Or should I do Ares for the discipline? If I do Hades for the money, I can probably support a larger army. But if I do the discipline, I can have a higher quality army. He's got 43 cohorts. I gotta lose that money, unfortunately. I might need to destroy a few forts, too. This has a level 3 fort, and I can't really easily maintain it, and I don't really need to, either. That sucks. That really sucks, actually. There's a fort here, and that's fine. We need to... Oh, yeah, we need to trade. We need livestock. Alright, now we get more population growth. We, we're getting a freeman there. How long is it going to take? Next year. Okay, that's fine. Civic advances. Alright, so now we can... Oh, yes! Province import routes. Okay. Now, is that an extra import route? Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Hold on. This changes stuff, guys. If we can import marble... Can we import marble here? Marble. Local provincial loyalty. Yeah, 
Now we get that. Okay. And then we can choose other stuff based on the needs of the province. That is so good. Okay. For Sparta. Sparta! <laughs> no, stop. Can we... What about this? Can we import anything for here? No. Trade not possible. Well, crap. What about for another province? Let's see. Any of the strategic goods besides wood? We don't need wood because it's just for ships. No, nothing there. I thought that would be more of a game changer, but it didn't. I mean, it changes it changes the game a lot for this province here that, that has very low loyalty. Oh, Rome. <laughs> there goes Rome. Uh, okay, this one? No. Do do. Okay. I suppose grain is the way to go then. Uh, for here, I would say grain. Oh, we can't do grain there though. What can we do here? We can't do anything! Why can't we do anything? Oh, I need civic power. Crap. That would be why. Whoops. Oh, Olymp oh, sweet. I gained 50 religious power and all that crap? Sweet. <laughs> That'd be sweet. All right, guys, um, I'm hoping... I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. I'm really, really hoping that in the next episode we can actually go to war with Macedon because they... Oh, they're allied with these guys now. They've got a bellicose stance. And the Seleucids are not doing so well because they've got a revolt here. I don't know how that's going to turn out. But anyways, I want to thank everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and join the Discord server. Uh, also, thank you so much to Shem for being my Patreon supporter. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, the links to do so are down in the description below. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.